Good morning, my lovely Leos. Happy Monday, everybody. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have Libra's Queen of Swords coming in and an Eight of Pentacles Virgo. Feels really good. Queen of Swords is clarity, making a plan, um, making moves, strategic. It's just a very clear-eyed focus. It feels actually really focused. I mean, you look at her from a distance and she, it's like nothing else is getting this person's attention than whatever her focus is on. And look at that. Below that, you got the two of cups, six of wands reverse, seven of swords reverse. Kind of feel like somebody's at a distance, kind of in a safe kind of way watching over here. Could be a work, Leo. Eight of pentacles, page of wands reverse, emperor reverse, especially if you're a Leo, Leo that's single. Leo's. Maybe somebody's crushing over here. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. If you are a Leo, know a Leo, feel like being a Leo. Leos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Leo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could resonate as the main story and Leo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Leo or for a Leo. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages from my lovely lions, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Look at that when I split the deck. King of Wands reverse and the Seven of Wands. Both you. It just feels like if some of you kind of have been in a slump or hurt recently, I just feel like there is this energy really coming your way that it's like a pick me up. And it feels like it's in a package of something unexpected and new. You know what I mean? All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy coming towards the Leos? What is the energy? There it is. You got two. And see the tower there. Nine of Swords reverse and the Eight of Swords, both Gemini. Nine of Swords Reverse. Feels like two different energies going on right there. Nine of Swords Reverse is not overthinking, not really worried, very carefree. But an Eight of Swords is somebody kind of feeling trapped within their mind, within a problem. What's influencing the Eight? Look at that, Two of Pentacles. It's like I keep getting two distinct energies. All right, what's influencing the Nine of Swords Reverse and the Eight of Swords? What's influencing the Nine of Swords Reverse and the Eight of Swords? Eight of Cups Reverse. Feeling stuck in something. Unable to walk away. Both of these, interesting enough, because you have two eights, by the way. Both of these are feeling like you can't walk away from something that you might feel like you're trapped in. Because an Eight of Swords isn't necessarily trapped, but it's it's more about the mind, right? It's about overthinking something to death. It's about worrying about tomorrow so much that you almost forego today. Eight of Swords is just, I mean, the, the lid is off. This person's been there so long, they grew wings. Feels like something might be karmically even over, but somebody's still hanging in there. And Eight of Cups Reverse is a resistance to walk away. What's the reason for the reading? Here we go, Knight of Cups, Nine of Wands Reverse, and the Hangman Reverse. So you have love coming in. I can please forgive me if you've heard me say this so many times, but I have people who have never heard this, and I feel like somebody out there needs to hear this. I don't feel like somebody's necessarily trapped in something physically still. You might be out of it, but the memories, the energy of it is still lingering. And the way I am really feeling this is that old VHS tape analogy that I say. And, and back in the 80s when we would record things off the TV or uh, through the video recorder, it's the same thing with a tape cassette with the, with the radio. Um, you only have that to listen to, whatever you've recorded. You can't listen to anything before that because when you record it covers it right so for some of you you're you're still kind of lingering in old energy because there just hasn't been anything new yet for you to focus on for to re-watch on that VHS tape but once you record like a new favorite show then you have something new to watch and watch and watch and the old is completely covered and gone you have something new coming in with this Knight of Cups and a Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy and I feel it's going to cause you to be basically in an Ace of Wands and an Eight of Wands because the Nine of Wands reverse is an Eight of Wands and an Ace of Wands or Page of Wands, depending on how you look at it. So it's letting go of something that's long gone that may have hurt you 
in exchange for something new. Both these cards are moving on. And I feel like somebody is, I just feel like you're going to have something good to start thinking about because you got the 10 of cups coming in and you got the world coming in, Leo. This is really good energy. And I really do feel like it's in a new package. What's in the past? I'm afraid to ask. What's in the past for Leo? What's in the past? The Six of Pentacles reverse wanted to come out, but I, I, I feel that. It feels like maybe something ended and nothing great has come in. What's in the past? Can't even pull these. Five of Cups reverse. Which is a Two of Cups, like open to it. Five of Cups reverse tells me you're not in that past situation. And that is a Two of Cups, really. And you know what's beautiful about this in the, the way it's depicted is it does remind me in this card of the Eight of Cups as well, walking away. And she's holding that page of wands. But she still feels like maybe she left something of herself behind. But when it's reversed, she's choosing to get out of the waters and into the land, into something new again. What's on your mind? What is on Leo's mind? Five of Wands reverse. I could not get that card back in. Look at the King of Cups coming in. Leo, I really feel like you have a new love partner here. Somebody, Somebody's going to come in and ask you out here. What's on Leo's mind besides the Five of Wands reverse? King of Swords reverse flipped. What's on Leo's mind? What is on Leo's mind? Yep, there's the Six of Pentacles upright. I just feel like you guys are waiting for the right one, a pretty good one, but not the wrong one. You're not desperate. You're not so desperate or thirsty you would drink poison just to wet your wet your tongue. This, I feel like you're just kind of in there, you know? I don't think you're upset about anything past for who I'm reading for. But you are you haven't flown to something new because probably something great hasn't come along. You do have a Knight of Cups. It's a very, like I said, a romantic, a very dreamy, a very, no, you're cute. No, you're cute. It's something to, to focus on, something to get your thoughts moving again, you know, getting the energy and the, the fire burning again. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? I feel like somebody's going to light your fire back, you know? Some of you have been in the water too long and you're a fire sign. What's in the near future? Look at the world and the magician. See how that is? You, I, I'm telling you, I feel like you guys have some... I can't stop smiling, honestly. Full reverse. Oh, don't be a full reverse. What's in the near future? I feel like you're going to be asked out and some of you are going to be like, I don't know. I got, I got to wash my hair. I got so much to do. What's in the near future for Leo? Four cups reverse, but you go. Four cups reverse is a two and a three of cups. It's no longer feeling alone. When it's like this, it's kind of like, I've done this for a while. I'm pretty bored. I'm feeling alone. Nobody's noticing me. It's 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 not a great energy when it's upright. But when it's reversed, she's no longer sitting there. She's not. She's moved out of this little rainstorm that she feels like it's only on her and ready to move into something different. So I love it. I love it, Leo. I feel like somebody's coming in to light your fire. Who's saying that? Isn't that Roy Orbison? Roy Orbison? Light your fire, baby. I'm going to light your fire. That just popped in my mind. Oh, did I make that up? That is a song, right? Or is that a lyric? I don't know. All right. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Reverse, Center of the Reading for Leo. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, Reverse. And what is that? And the Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups, you got the Queen of Cups. I actually did see the, the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck when the Five of Wands reversed, remember? If you would rewind, you'd see that. You have the Knight to the Queen. You have the Knight to the Queen, and then the King was there coming in. Interesting. So it feels like something that's coming in is going to progress in the right direction. Queen of Cups and the Sun. Leo, somebody's going to light that fire back up. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be... It's not summer yet, but it's going to be pretty hot around here. Eight of Cups reverse influence in energy. And the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is really important. 
You know why? Because this is how you feel about yourself. Nine of Pentacles is very, very secure, very pretty darn good with oneself. It's high vibrational. I don't feel like somebody who I'm reading for is stuck on the past. I don't think you want the past. I think you just want something decent. You want something good. You're not even looking for like the next, you know, supermodel to come in. You just want someone that you can trust, somebody who's real, somebody who makes you laugh, somebody who's there tomorrow, you know, someone who's reliable in, in a world that's ever changing. So the nine of pentacles is saying until then, I'm really good where I'm at, but it could be lonely or not lonely, but you might want to share share your life with someone okay what is the knight of cups though reason for the reading pisces energy what is this knight of cups reason for the reading king of pentacles reverse and the nine of cups reverse both pisces and taurus you know what's, what the feeling I got with this? I feel like somebody's going to come off very secure, very confident, but I don't think they are. I even feel like I felt that initially with that Queen of Swords that we had in the back, in the beginning. I feel like somebody's kind of working up the courage. I just think underneath that layer of confidence is a King of Pentacles reverse and a Nine of Cups reverse. I don't think somebody wants to get rejected. Nobody wants to get rejected. I feel like somebody sees you before you even notice them. I think they've already developing, by the time this person comes in, I feel like they've already developed some type of a attachment or some type of feelings for you. Why the nine of wands reverse and the hangman reverse? Eight of swords reverse. Remember we have an eight of swords up right here. Eight of swords reverse is finally, I'm, I feel like I'm fine. Life is finally moving forward. Something is, totally happening here three of pentacles reverse knight of swords reverse this feels x again if you've been replaying the old or it doesn't even have to be that it feels like something's finally being laid to rest Knight of Swords reverse, it could be a cutting out of something that was really chaotic, something that could have even been traumatic with this Three of Pentacles reverse. But why do I feel like this might be even tied to this full reverse above it? Aquarius, full reverse can be afraid of being hurt. Reason for the reading, that could be why some of you, if, if, if you're starting to develop feelings for somebody, and if you are talking to somebody, Leo, maybe you might even kind of be like, nervous because you don't want to get hurt and you went down that road before and I do kind of feel like for the most part you're in eight of swords reverse where you're just like okay let's go but then some days you might be more reserved and maybe the other person will say hey what's wrong you're you seem a little bit different it's just it's almost maybe some things you can't even like tap into you don't even know where it's coming you know, overall energy is I feel like you're you're pretty happy when this comes in. But there is this kind of maybe I need to reserve a part of myself because just in case for the just in case. That's what I'm kind of feeling here. I kind of feel like this is you holding back your three of pentacles. Trying to remain in control of this. What is this five of cups reverse in the past, Scorpio? Five of cups reverse in the past. Yep, king of wands reverse right there. I don't feel like this Leo I'm reading for, I don't think anyone has lit your fire in qu quite a while. I really don't with that King of Wands reverse. Look at that Eight of Wands reverse. But like I said, the Nine of Wands reverse reason for the reading is you're back in the game. Eight of Wands upright. This would be an Eight of Wands reverse. This is an Eight of Wands upright. If you look at the traditional card, you can make out why that is. Because in the traditional card, it's allowing past hurt to hold somebody back or holding on to something that's that's painful. But when it's reversed, it's not holding on to any kind of pain, it's just flying those, flying forward. So I do feel like the Wheel of Fortune is overall on this reading, pushing somebody into this new cycle. But some of you might be dragging your heels a bit because you're, you, you, don't, you're, you think you're not ready to go off that cliff just yet. Or it might be moving too fast. 
What's the Six of Pentacles on your mind? Two of Wands waiting. Is this person going to make a real offer? Is this is this the one? Two of Wands is, is a decision to be made, right? Six of Pentacles is somebody offering you something. So what is this energy about? Five of Wands reverse and a King of Swords reverse. There's a lot of I don't know right here. Why the, why the five of wands reverse, Leo energy? Ace of wands reverse. Are you thinking of telling somebody no or shutting it down before it begins? And it's interesting because see the two of wands, Aries. Aries is the queen of wands. Queen of wands is the king of wands is true pair. I don't think you've had that true pair for a while. He is holding his page of wands. He's also holding the world upright, but he's still waiting for what? Waiting for the right time, waiting to feel, I you know, waiting to lose five more pounds, waiting for whatever it is. That's why the Ace of Wands is reversed. I feel, Leo, you're the one might be kind of, I'm, for some of you, I really don't think this has come in yet. I think you guys are going to be in this, I know how I feel, but my brain is telling me, don't go, don't go, stay where it's safe. That's what our brains do. Our brains don't want us to change. It's our security systems. And our hearts will tell us whatever it is we want to hear that won't hurt us. Listen to your intuition because that shit never lies to you. Full reverse, four cups reverse in the near future. What is the full reverse and the four cups reverse in the near future? Queen of Swords. Cautiously optimistic about this one. That's what I got there. I feel like it would be a yes, but on my terms. I feel like you want to control the speed of it. Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Wands. I, I felt that Queen of Wands. This is the energy coming in, male or female. I feel like it's going to be a fun energy. I feel like it's going to be a funny energy. I feel like it's somebody you're going to like to be around. But I do feel like you've been hurt. I do. Queen of Swords. I feel like you've got maybe a lot on your mind. And this is very tempting and I think you're open to it. And for some of you, um, I'm not saying all Leos, but I feel like the biggest fear here is how you're going to immediately feel for this energy, which might be for you, some of you, tr warning, 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 because the last time I felt like that, I got hurt and I want to control this so that doesn't happen again. So I want to create the safest environment and be in control at all times. That's very Queen of Swords, you know? This is a, the queen of swords. It's interesting because you got the queen of cups and the queen of swords. I feel inside you are ooey and gooey and your cup is still runneth over for the right one. But until the right one proves themselves, they're going to get this. This is not a bad queen. She's just the security system here, right? She's like the brain. She's just like, you do one thing. I dare you. I dare you. And I'll be, I'll be watching. But I feel like this queen is going to let up and let the queen of cups take back over. It's just somebody's got to prove themselves before you give in to that again. And bottom of the deck, I love it. Look at the four of pentacles reverse. Or I'm sorry, it's the knight of pentacles reverse. Virgo energy. <clears throat> I saw the four of pentacles reverse in my brain. That's weird. Four of pentacles reverse is releasing an old paradigm and fear and ready just to go forward. But I do feel like this person's got a bit of a wall, but they will climb it. They will, they will wait you out. So since I went there, Knight of Pentacles reverse with the Ace of Cups reverse, let me tell you what this is. Managing negative expectations. Be careful of this. This card in reverse is much like this card upright. Nine of Swords. And I'm glad to see it reverse because this is not managing negative expectations and not over worrying and not over analyzing. It's just back in that fire element again. But this reverse is like this upright. They're like, they're like the twins, you know? So when the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, it's like, it's somebody who stays up all night and think, what if, what if I, I, they don't call me? What if this works out for two weeks and they go back to an ex? What if I don't hear from them? What if I sleep with them and they don't like, it's the what if game that will psych you out. And until you feel safe, your Ace of Cups is reverse. And the reason why I feel like that is because the card right below it is the lovers and the empress so i feel like it's safe for the most part i want to say for the most part from what i'm seeing to go with this newer energy but of course use your intuition above all else all else because if i mean you're gonna know if somebody's vibing with you if they're on the same level as you 
I feel like I'm reading for a Leo that has been working on themselves for some time. I don't feel like you're in this five of pentacles or five of cups kind of state. I feel like you've risen above it. I feel like you're, you're more on the nine and 10 of the cups and the pentacles where you're vibing high and you're really happy with where you are. And you may not necessarily be open to letting just anybody disrupt that, that balance you have found for yourself, which is why we have Ms. Queen of Swords coming on here. But the Queen of Swords is only out because you know what your love is worth and it you're just not giving it over easily these days. But I do feel like there's an energy that's going to make you go through all of these emotions, which means it's somebody that's triggering you in a good way. You know, it's somebody's getting past that maybe that defense that you could have created for yourself and getting past to it past it. And that's a bit exciting, you know. So this has been a very in-depth read for just a normal weekly read. But Leos, thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your week and take care.